So welcome back to War Stand. Today we're going to look at flight helmets. Uh, I'll do one on a HTU, uh, but I can't get out, so I can't get it. So this is an SPH-5 Sound Protective Helmet Mark V, the one I wear normally. Uh, the Kevlar outer base, uh, we've got the thermal line, uh, it's not a thermal lining, you can adjust it in an oven to fit your head. Uh, it's pretty much standard. Uh, I don't have a CEP kit or any of those kind of things. Uh, I do have these cotton covers over the earpieces just to stop sweat formulating. This is the old style with the press studs. Uh, nowadays you get a D-ring, but this part to replace is kind of expensive, so I ain't doing it. Uh, we have a microphone. And underneath is the lip light. It's called a lip light because you turn it on and off with your lip and our foam and the lip light is fastened to the battery pack that's on the back of the helmet and you can just see the little switch showing that's what we can turn on and off uh, so this has got there's no batteries in it I do apologize we've got two green LEDs and then an infrared LED so when we're doing MVG ops, which is what this mount on the front is. Apart from that, it's pretty much stand, standard. Uh, we've got our, it's hard to do this when you're not wearing them. We've got our internal black visor and then our external clear. What people don't realize is the clear visor is almost ballistic nylon. Uh, so you should always have the clear down if you're wearing the black because the black scratches a lot easier. Different helmets have different ways of putting the visors on down uh, but when we're entering the rotor disc uh, in and out we should have the visor. We kind of wear the clear one down during takeoff and landing just in case there's an emergency. Pilots sometimes wear the clear down because bird strike it'll protect the head. Uh, apart from that, it's pretty much standard on the back. Uh, I've added UK kind of style 3M reflective tape. So if I'm bobbing in the water with a life jacket, you can see my head. If I'm unconscious, you can still see my head. Or when we're doing rescue ops with a bit of sunlight on it, it's very clear. Uh, back on the back, I've got my safety briefs. Get in, strap in, shut off, don't touch nothing. HMFIC is the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in charge. Uh, and that's pretty much standard. The only other real addition is the Velcro on the uh, visor cover. Uh, and that's designed, this is the military strobe. It's the same on my civilian ones. Is we can stick the strobe on there. If we're floating around in the water with a life jacket on, uh, it can just blink away above water. The only other addition I have on this helmet, if you've seen the pictures, so I have the MFS, the actual facial screen. Uh, these are designed for a number of things. A, to make you look even more cool. It just fits there. We can undo and do what we need so we can talk to people. Uh, they do provide protection to your actual facial area in the event of a, an emergency. Uh, a prime function is to stop dust, etc., whipping up, uh, and especially wind noise affecting the microphone. So you think the microphone here is voice activated. As soon as you get wind over it, you hear the rotors, and when you've got a head in and outside the door, it just cuts all that down. A key note on helmets, if you're buying them, uh, helmets to me should be individual. They should be sized correctly for you. So between the top of our eyebrows and kind of this part of the helmet needs to be about two fingers. Uh, else it's too big or it's too small. You can get foam spacers that fit behind the ear cups that adjust uh, the velcro back, that they adjust the position of the ear cups over your ear. Helmets are an individual thing because at the end of the day, it's your head. 
and I don't really like or approve of companies using pull helmets, but that's just a personal thing. If you do buy, uh, especially if you get off eBay, you can get some good stuff off eBay. Uh, just check whether the uh, microphone is high or low resonance. Uh, military and civilian aircraft are different. Uh, if you get the wrong one, it won't work. You can buy adapters or you can buy a new microphone. But if you spend all your hard-earned savings, uh, just check the, the origins, whether it's military or civilian, because you will have a problem with the microphone. Apart from that, they're pretty standard. They're pretty cool. Uh, they make us all look like Top Gun. Flight helmets, stay safe.